Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Carlo draft. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't. We opened kind of a week back here, to be honest. Like, the best cards are Witness, Dog Walker, Clandestine. I kind of just want to take the Shadowy Backstreet over any of these cards. Treacherous Greed is our rare. Can be good, but I feel like it's too situational most of the time. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the rare land here. That or one of these two flip cards. I think black is pretty weak, so... Don't want to jump into it. Unless, of course, it is wide open. Let's take the land and see what else we get past here. Don't think that case is good. There's a hustle bustle. The uh, bustle can win you the game a lot of the time. But I might just take the cold case cracker as a good flyer. And it makes a token and it's a detective, so it's a lot of those rolls. Makes an artifact, is a threat, is a has some value, and it's a detective, so. It's pretty good pick here. Again, another... It's kind of another weak pack. Pick three. Take the gadgets and the jetsum has been pretty decent. Uh, bite down on crime as some removal as well. I'm leaning, leaning towards the technician just because I haven't done a um, blue-red artifact deck. And this makes an artifact. Either that or the bite down on crown. Uh, I guess Jetsum can be okay as well. I think I'm going to stick with the technician here. Because we can always play that on his morph side. It's kind of a late flourishing bloomkin. The dramatic accusation if you want to stay blue and a crocodile if you want to stay blue as well. Another treacherous greed, eh? This is a little slow. Five mana to flip up. Accusation or the crocodile? I think I'll take the accusation here. The pick five wrath. <laughs> Do people hate black that much that they're just passing us? Is a wrath really bad in the format? As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may collect Evan 6. If evidence was collected, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard, then search its owner's graveyard, hand, and library. Or any cards with that name, exile them. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. Another meddler, which I would love to pick up as well. Yeah, this might make us go towards blue-black with this deadly cover-up. That's late. Do you like around again just a hard hitting question and a bite down crime now I'm gonna take the best card which I think is the one mana removal I mean this is pretty good with our uh, technician and the cold case right now as you can sacrifice an artifact I haven't gone to try out the Eliminator, right? So maybe we give it a shot here. Do need to fill out this early curve a bit. And also, I could pick up the Outfitter trying to pick up a Thinking Cap plus the Magnifying Glass. Because we're for sure going to wheel a Thinking Cap. Because I think I've seen two or three pass by already. But maybe try this blue black deck. Or maybe go three color. <laughs> Do a little salt eye. This is good in the Salty deck with all the graveyard synergies. I guess so is the reconstruction. Ooh, I think I'd rather have the smuggler over the offender. There's one of the caps wheeling. Now I can get the offender. 
passing another maverick i mean maybe we don't necessarily even have to be blue to end up being black green we'll see what we keep getting past maybe the mind draw tier another reconstruction what is this Couldn't read fast enough. <laughs> Falcon here. Two surveillance, but none of the ones we really want. Would take the gardener over the Falcon. And maybe actually try to go more three color. I've been pretty happy with the gardener as well. I guess we didn't see. Ah, uh, we saw a decent amount of blue, like the smuggler came kind of late, but again, it's pretty filler, so I wouldn't really consider it a huge sign. I guess our blue is better than our green right now. Yeah, let's try the falcon then. Might regret it. Another technician, but maybe we take the lights from shadows as another removal spell. So I'm kind of looking for more things that <laughs> Niv Mizzet. Anytime that I've tried to play Niv Mizzet, I've ended up with like a 1 and 3 or a 2 and 3, so I might kind of avoid it right here. Another Gardener. I will take this one over the Bubble Smuggler. Whoa! Another Gardener, though. Ooh, and a Buried. Very displashable with the shadow, but I think I'd rather have the gardener first. Gore hound murder. Just take the straight up murder. Okay. Another ambusher. Wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, maybe we are going towards green black after all. Splashing something, so I'll take the brancher. Ah, I guess it's pretty close to which colors I want to be. Like, it's a sprite here, it's probably the best pick. Okay. We're gonna waffle a little bit here to figure out what we want to do. Assassin's Trophy. Don't like giving them a land to be honest. Maybe we give it a shot here. Yeah, look, repeat offender, gadget, inspector, all good. Hmm. Sample collector? <laughs> Yeah, take the fixing here. Proctel goes into both decks, which is good. Three mana, three, three. Play the gore hound. Okay, okay. Could really go either way still. It's eidetic memory. But I think we just want the long goodbye as another efficient removal spell. We haven't seen any graveyard payoffs as another thing. If we do black and green, we might not have like good synergy. You're passing a cold case cracker. Three or more artifacts. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. There's a tipster here. <laughs> we want to go green.
do like me a tipster. Oh, there's Insidious Roots. I think I'd rather have a tipster. We only have a couple ways to collect evidence right now. We have the reconstruction for the roots. Deli cover up. Let's collect evidence, but it will also wipe the board. <laughs> Second Niv is it, eh? Whoa, look at all the cred here, too. Second to murder, sure. Again, I'm not huge on murder. Okay, that's a good splashable card. Uh, course to kill. But yeah, I was saying I'm not huge on murder in this set. I guess we are going more this route. We don't have anything huge to close out the game, so I'm kind of worried about that. That panther is nice. That is exactly what we need. Some fixing as well as some um, way to finish the game. What are we doing for rem removal? Two, three, four, five. Removal spell six, no, seven, eight. <laughs> it looks pretty good to me. In versus another panther. I think the panther is a little better. Don't have that much disguise. Oh, we got the two gardeners, I guess, yeah. Maybe cooking the air to alibi as well is a combat trick. But this doesn't seem like a combat trick type deck really. Like I'm probably cutting the fanatic strength from this deck. Ooh, pulled some jetsam. It's quite nice. Another crocodile. Probably run both of those. The crocodile two panthers to close up the game plus the jetsam now. Probably don't want this eliminator anymore. The city is roots on the wheel, so we'll see if that's actually worth it in this deck. The main thing this deck is missing is that two mana. Your opponent sacks a creature, and you can um, collect evidence to make them sack their highest, highest power creature. Aside from the deck, the deck looks pretty sweet. It obviously doesn't have any bombs either. Like, I don't think we have any rares in the deck. Well, I, I guess we could run the shadowy backstreet as a tapped black source that surveils. Okay, just one cut here. Ooh, this okay. So for I got sample for the insidious roots. We have the sample collector, the floatsum. Oh, leave your graveyard. Never mind. So not the floatsum. <laughs> Deadly cover up, but that doesn't work. The reconstruction. I don't think I run this. Yeah, I don't think we have enough. <laughs> For those roots to be good. We're kind of low on playables then, right? I could run a second reconstruction, maybe? I guess maybe the cerebral confiscation is okay enough. Okay, the more that I think about it, I think second reconstruction is better because we have the two pathers we can get back by cycling. And if we ever need to deadly cover up, we can wipe our board and we need to kill some of our creatures. The construction's okay. So, yeah, let's try running it like this and see how it goes. Nope. <clears throat> Probably should add some number of land into the deck. One plane is okay. Do I want to run this back street? I think we can, and it should be fine. 881. You have a couple of murders, but you need gardener, gardener or panther to find those. So yeah, let's get to game one. 
game one, opponent on the play. It's keepable hand, you have a deadly cover up. <laughs> but nothing for the tunnel tipster to really wrap into, I guess. It's good as well. So I think I keep this as like a backup if things go bad. But I play the game out normally otherwise. Good hard hitting question there. Analyst, but I don't think that's necessary. No bots. Five mana to flip it, so I could flip it next turn. Not gonna lie, it's a little scary. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna flip. Ooh, they blocked. It's pretty quick for us. But they probably want it in the yard for their chalk outline. I had to guess here. Act and evidence make a 2 2. This deadly cover up is kind of worse. It deals their graveyard, but. I guess they have nothing in their yard, so. I'm not gonna kill their examiner. I'm just gonna run out this panther. Yeah, they got a lot of clues, but hopefully they don't have any time to utilize them. This Jetsum might be a little awkward because it also feels their yard. It looks like they have the plus X plus X where... X is the number of creatures they control. Murder is pretty good with dealing with that. Then get one, two, three, four, plus four, plus four. Let's kill their examiner here. Did I miscount? Yeah, no, they miscounted. My plan was to attack, and when they did it on block, I was gonna murder whatever he, creature they targeted, but obviously we don't need to do that since they messed up here. If I go for a triple block on one of these creatures, I could murder. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just pass here with the murder plus the clues open. And not Jetsum this turn. A little scary that they just took it all. But I don't think there's any wrath they could play, so should be okay. But who knows, maybe they printed a green blue wrath now. Plus green is known to break the color pie as much as possible, right? They're allowed to do anything. That's what green's color pie is. I don't want to murder that before they made a 2-2, but either way they still have a blocker. Well, I guess they would have been down two block, down one blocker if I had killed that. That's 
probably a better target. Let's draw a card first. We might be able to get them if they try to like double block my panther or they try to block panther with the creeper and I can just murder. So I kind of want to just save the murder until my turn. Ooh, oops, I meant to attack with a 5-5 as well. Did go for a multi-block. This still works out in our favor. But yeah, I should have been attacking with a crocodile as well. Oops. I mean, we're still in a great spot. Oh, nice. They blocked with everything. That's a good play by them. <laughs> This, this works out better for them. They actually do get to trade with my panther. Could just play out 2 2. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, misplayed there. Should have been attacking with a 5 5 as well. Hopefully it doesn't cost us the game here. I might be able to make a few two twos. If... Yeah, two two twos here. Not bad. Maybe I should have killed the sample collector. It's going hard right now. Yep. Might have to wrap next turn now. Ooh, we need another black source actually. It gives itself indestructible. Bounce. Do we want to kill their sample collector? Oh, why aren't I blocking it? What am I doing? Why didn't I block last turn? Holy shoot. <laughs> God, I'm playing awful, eh? Five, six, seven, eight mana. I gotta, I gotta hope that they. I guess they can tackle the sample collector and make another two, two, twos. I punted this game. This deadly cover up might have to bring us back. This is what I should have done <laughs> a while ago.
Get this indestructible. I wonder if I attack with this as well. Maybe do something like this. Nice, they did double block my death touch creature. Do a triple block my death touch creature. Nice. Yes. No, come back. Come back. Dang it. Almost got him there. Got a sample collector of my own. Ooh, we can play their Weaver, the Jetsam. Or we can bounce their token for lethal. Next turn. Um, they messed up there. Is this lethal? They got two blockers. We got lots of removal. It would have been lethal even if they misplayed, right? All right, almost through that game, so let's dive in up for our next game, holy hell. On the play, but don't have any green, so I don't think I can keep this. It's worse than our other hand. Oh my god. Gotta hope to draw green. Or at least a land, hopefully, but we might just lose... Is her hand so bad? What could place that? <laughs> Cause we're so pinched on, we might be so pinched on mana. I think it was actually worth it. Okay, great. Keep drawing lands. I destroy my own permanent to find a basic land as well. Maybe if they go for a removal spell on my creature, I could be like, you kill it in response. Don't block. Alright, two morphs. We do have access to an extra mana here, thanks to their researcher. I drop, here we go. Just an ambusher. Guess I'd probably murder that. Be nice if these morphs were the one that could find the land. Things that look very good for me though. Fun has four hands and tons of mana. Or sorry, four cards and tons of mana. Great, but I think we're okay with some trades here. We have one creature in the yard. We 
her. Let's carry her 5-5. Five, five. Or the face down card. <laughs> a lot of damage on the backswing with this play. So I can take like 12 damage here. I'm gonna flip this into a 6-5 or 11 I guess. Oh that might ruin us once we draw a blue source. It's kind of a blue source. And we can't hold open trophy this turn. Shoot, I should have just gone for the trophy last turn instead. Yeah, if we didn't stumble on lands, we might have been okay here. But we can still find our deadly cover-up to win the game. Yeah, they can tap down. Try to go for lethal here. It doesn't untap it, right? Nope. Untapped. Untapped. All right, we need a wrap. <laughs> wrap their bust here. Bust it is. Walk. Put this for a blue source and coerce something, but they could tap down one of my creatures. Then I gotta chump. I take the research and hope they have nothing. I mean, this is obviously something, right? It's probably gonna have more than. It's probably gonna increase his power in some way. That's a losing move. Okay, so we're just trying to survive till deadly cover up it looks like so I think we find a blue source here and steal their specialist as it's the only untapped creature and hope they can't kill us this turn That's not a good sign. I'm assuming it's a 6-5 trample then. Oh. Wait. Oh, that gives trample as well. Damn it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I think we win if we just find some lands. Alright, we have three lands. Hand's a little questionable, but... Ali is pretty good with a hard-hitting question. <laughs> and we got to surveil off the back street? Okay, I'll keep it. 
for the lands, if nothing else. Rakdos. Loadsome Jetson. I think we need that. Land is also not great though. None of our two drops were found. That's right, three mana three three. Don't kill it, it's all I have. <laughs> It's gonna die against a black red deck for sure though. Yeah. Yep, we're in huge trouble here. Okay, I'll take it. No blocks. I need this for my hard hitting question. Yeah, let's just kill their face down card for now. land. Okay. I'm alright with that. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know what their hand was. Maybe they were actually missing a color. And they weren't red, but it looks like they were green black as well. Yeah, I know it sucks to get land screwed. Nice. On the play. Not a great hand, but it's keepable for sure. Guess land is good with this hand. Might cycle the panther on turn two. Get our blue source, though. Probably will here. Ooh, that's a good draw as well. Is that better than the sample collector? I guess getting this bigger is not a bad idea right now. Though we do lose creatures from our yard for our um, buyback spells. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, that's Vigilance. Could see blocking it. But I'm not. Let's hope they double block here. Get a nice two for one. <laughs> Oh, nice. They did. They did double block. No! Come back. I think I'd rather just play it. This as a 3 3. I guess that drain what might have been pretty relevant as well. Honestly, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Good morph. Play this as a morph or a disguise creature.
we are kind of losing this race, but I could jet some there, like bother or even fuss. I guess fuss only works on attacking creatures, right? And like, maybe not that, but they're bother, else they got in the yard. <laughs> Pitch something crazy, do it. Yeah, I kind of wish I played this as a disguise, though. Might have been able to mill another card for the sample collector. Good for the inspector. I think I am okay with this trade, though they do get a... clue. I guess this can't be countered anyways. So maybe I wait on the long goodbye. Ah, maybe they have the expert trick. Let's just kill the inspector now. Land, land. I want to jet some there, bother, please. I guess it turned out it was better that we play this as a 3 3 instead of a 2 2. Let us trade. We haven't we wouldn't really have time to flip this, anyways. Nor the mana. Sir, please. Be like me and not think and then just misplay. Come on. Don't think and misplay, that's my motto, baby. He disconnected, maybe? That'll be unfortunate having another non-game. Sucks if he did disconnect here. They returned, but they didn't miss a turn. I'm just gonna put them probably too far behind. This data analyst has been really good for them, though. <laughs> Got it in for at least six damage. I'm gonna get it for nine here. I'd rather have a 4 5 here. They double block at least to eat both their creatures. They double block here. I still trade with both their creatures. Double like that. I kill their face down card. Yep. I also just leave by yeah, 9 damage. Fortunate non-game though, I think that one turn they missed. It was, like, it was a good game until they missed that turn, which is unfortunate. 
three one on the draw, but hand looks fine. So let's keep this. We got all our mana. We got a two drop tipster. No morph to follow up, but the ramp is still nice. I think the poet mul I think the opponent mulligan is six as well. Ooh, Inspector. Best card right here. Inspector's basically a rare, I swear. It's that good. Yeah, our draws haven't been they're all very reactive, so. Stack for two here. I think it's better to just use a hard hitting question. It's the other removal isn't reliant on a creature. Oops, should have played the Swamp to keep open the Long Goodbye there. And the Assassin's Trophy as well. Yeah, I could have dealt with that. I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Kill this. This thing can't be countered, right? You get a 2-2. Two, two. This is not looking great for us, though. <laughs> Did you draw something? One of our morphs. Red herring! Damn! All of a sudden, we're on the defense, eh? Panther's a good start. Three, four, five, six. Oh, this is pausing further. It's like, why is it pausing? I think it's pausing for this herring. Yep, they're digging. Panther was actually amazing there. Shoot, I was kind of hoping they were going to double block the panther. Am I okay with this, or should I assassin strip you? I'm okay with this because I have a sample collector to buy that back later. Should I assassin trophy right now? I guess I'll keep them off the land. Uh... I'm just gonna make sure they don't have a trick. Okay. Maybe I should only attack with the panther there. But we're still in a good spot unless they wrap. But then we still get to reconstruction. Two creatures from the yard, so not the worst. Nice. 
All right, 4-1. So at least we got basically all our gems back. Always good. Good hand, a little land heavy, but got Tipster on turn two, and we have a morph this time to follow. Two morphs, actually. So, looks good to me. When it mulliganed once again. Okay. Let's play my soul up there. <laughs> that would have been pretty, pretty bad. But I caught myself the last second. I was like, oh, I need double black for murder eventually. I could kill that right now. Because, <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling it was a gardener that's gonna help them fix for their whatever mana they're missing. Dang it. Damn, if we're on the play here, it would have been game over. Option of killing that. I'd rather play Assassin or the Silent plus Offender. Get my Tunnel Patrol like a little bigger as well. So lucky, I always draw my gardeners at the end of the game. I'm okay with this trade. We got the reconstruction in our hand, and we already have so much to do with our mana that we're not going to have time to activate repeat offender. And if they want to use a combat trick to save their gardener, that's a... Offender trading for a combat trick here is pretty good with me as well. I'm a little worried about this morph card here. Hopefully it's not a crocodile of their own. I, actually, that wouldn't be the worst. I could still flip my own crocodile and hard-hitting question at next turn. Yeah. Sure. Okay, they put it on the gardener. They do get to solve their case. So what is it now? Whenever you attack, put a plus one, plus one on target creature. It gains trample until end of turn. Yeah, I think I flip in hard-hitting question here. We do need to, we have a lot of removal in our deck and hopefully we find murder or something. I feel like this is gonna flip into something big soon. And I wanted to land there so we could flip this. And because I want to just swing out. I guess this doesn't really matter because I'm going to flip this.
little concerning here, but I think we're in a good spot. Gotta get them down to three so we can drain them out with the assailant. And this will be the world first, world first assailant to kill. No one's done it before, alright? I swear. <laughs> I'm worried about a double striker. That'd be eight damage. Trap will kill me. I guess if they have anything, this is fine. Oh, they can't flip this without double red, though, if it is the double striker. Okay, so it's not the double striker. Could be a 5-5. Five five. I think they just have a combat trick. Okay, I'm okay with trading here, then. down card. Oh shoot, I forgot to flip my gardener before my thing died. Oopsie. But I feel like this is lethal anyways. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bring back Garner and the Offender. I think I'd rather have the two creatures out than disguise this. Three, four, five, six, yeah. That. Okay, we should be pretty good here. They play a red source, I'll double block this to not die to the double striker, because it'll deal 10 damage, right? So I'll have two counters. Yeah, five, four. Walk three damage, go to one. But I don't think they have the another red source, so they're definitely a plus for us. My dog is knocking at the door. They do have the red. Yeah, I'm definitely double blocking the face down card and hoping they don't have a combat trick. Oh god. Are we dead? Are we going to one? God, if they're the last card. Is a combat trick, it's gonna suck. It has to, I think it could only be the plus one plus one or plus x plus x, where x is the number of creatures you control. In this case, it would be plus one plus one, and I think that is lethal. This will be 12 trample, and we can only stop three damage. Oh, 
Sorry, never mind. <laughs> it was never the double striker. Ooh. Still quite a bit of damage. No! No, the world first ally kill! No! <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, 5 1. Keep this streak going. Alright, great hand. want to morph these cards though, so I might not have a turn to play. Especially because I want to find a blue source, I definitely want to morph the gardener. Not a bad draw. I think we play the 3-3 three, three over the Gardener. Oh, do they have a counter spell? No. Don't do it. <laughs> no, my Gore Hound's been suspected. Can no longer block. No, two more playing Vigilance. That's a great horse target, though. Yes, again. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a cohort target. It's going to be a 1 1 flying death touch vigilance. Oh, yeah, no, it is a great target because they will have more cards than us, most likely. Hopefully they don't have... I think I'm okay with trading this off, so... Swing here. Don't really need the land right now. And maybe if it's a big part, you can jet summit. it. It's pretty good. Good enough for me to jet some, at least. Hopefully they tap out of blue, though. Yes. Yeah, we're getting clues off their <laughs> investigator because we have less cards than them. Jet some their crocodile here. And we're looking pretty good. Nice. <laughs> you know we haven't cast Dudley cover up once this draft, eh? So maybe they were right. They were right to pass the deadly cover up. But yeah, six, one. Hopefully we can get to seven wins. This hand is not great. Might even float someone turn <laughs> on turn two with this hand. When it did mulligan. But what are we really hoping for? That's much better. Some removal, I guess. This has all their colors, which is nice. Risky keep, I guess. I just feel like it could be so much worse that I don't even want to risk mulliganing. But, I mean, opponent did mulligan twice, and I mean, they might get us low key. Got three cards. Sacrifice return all lands. They hit two lands. Actually, not bad here. I guess we cycle off one of these Panthers. Make sure we hit our six land and get double black. Garners. Nice as well. Three four is a little bit of a problem here. Don't make it obvious of <laughs> what my morph card is, but so be it. So it might have been better. Oh, better. Sorry, I was sacrificed to land. But they're gonna re really get me with this. 
analysis, but it might have been better to play out this as a 3-3 death touch. And just morph our gardener instead. Yes, we get the surveil land here. Five mana. It's kind of hoping for something to do here. Five here. Oh, both killing their analysis here. I'm trading two damage for one damage here. And honestly, now I'm a little worried. <laughs> Start poking me for two. Could just bite down. This turn. I could take this Gallandrel for a 3 3 Death Toucher. I think I prefer just killing. Oh, I should have done the Gardeners to get in for. Two extra damage. Mana killer creature. <laughs> Not the great Jetsum. Not the great Tis Jetsum, I should say. This should be at like 8 right now. Yeah, this game's a um, lifelink, which is a problem. I'm expecting them to block with something and get reconstruction for cheaper. Does that mean they have a wrath or something in their hand? Think they have a wrath. Why not just play this with a 3 3 death toucher? I think so. It'd be pretty funny for the final match to begin against another deadly cover up deck. Funny for them, sad for me. But I could see us falling behind if I don't play out creatures because this could gain. Lifelink, right? Get them back up to 9 HP.
and at least we have a panther. They do end up wrathing this board, and we do have a second reconstruction summer in our deck. To hopefully save us. Those are both tapped, I believe. Yes. Up to nine. Did not draw into lethal. Is this worth keeping back to double block their Mortipede? I think so. So we don't kill them if we attack with the Gardener, we put them to one. And this way we can double block the Mortipede. If we need to. I think it will to avoid dying to some kind of combat trick. Here we go, Wrath. Do you have it? Or are my win cons too good? The six mana sick fives would trample. Stressing me out, man. Give me my seventh win, please. Ayoko. Ayoka? Oh my god, they were one off lethal? <laughs> oh my god, that was actually freaking crazy. Well, I'm glad I kept a. I'm glad I kept the two blockers back for that exact reason. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That was a great 7 1 draft. Next time we'll go 7-0. Next time it's 7-0. Hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.